the Kamijo faction has been created. It's just been increasing with Cloud, apparently. I didn't know. I thought that we're just going around just saving people and having fun and making some friends. But it's looking like from the outside world, right? The churches, the, you know, this whole balance of power between magic and science. The scales are being tipped due to Toma's existence. And now we got dudes coming from different churches, shape-shifting to quote-unquote, you know, take out. And, and Misaka wasn't supposed to die, right? It's just like that simp. Just love Misaka so much, and he was like, you know what? If you didn't do anything, I would have provided like a false report and everything would have been fine, but wah wah, we fucked him up. Misaka is definitely folding. She is gushing. She heard what Toma said. We don't know exactly what Toma said to that Mitsuki guy, right? The fake Mitsuki, when there was something of like, what do you do about Misaka? Do you like her? There's probably some secret words of affection that was cut out of the anime, but Misaka heard that. So I'm like, oh, something's happening there. But we know that index exists. She gonna get cooked. Let's begin today's reaction. We're back to the recap, baby. Indirect kiss with the glizzies as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at her blushing. She's so cute. Yeah. Wait, 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 Happened in August 31st, just after midnight. I don't remember this shit last episode. It's looking like they're hinting at like, yo, some shit happened. And that's gonna be the focus of today's episode. <laughs> Certain encounter with who? Last order. The end. Accelerator. He's back. Accelerator's back. What's he up to, bro? We haven't seen him in a while. The last time we saw him, he got his ass just beat by Toma. Just bop, 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 bop. And now he kind of got kicked out of the program too. Tree Diagram just lost faith, so he likes black coffee. He likes black coffee, though. No sugar. That's a lot of coffee, bro. Just make coffee at home. You know what the most waste of money? It's not the most waste of money, but like, truly, just having a cheap ass coffee machine at home and just buying just like from a grocery store of like ground beans and making your own coffee, it's so much more efficient than just buying these canned shit, but. Accelerator don't give a fuck. Bat. Metal bat. Doesn't matter. What the fuck you gonna do, bro? He got an auto reflex off 24-7. Get out of here. He hurt his hand. Because, like, remember. Uh, uh, um, the force, right? When you punch someone hard, it hurts your hand too, because Newton third law. But remember, he can literally switch the vector so it's double back at you. The force that should have hit accelerator is also being recoiled with the recoiled force. Fuck your hand. Bald. Oh, oh. <laughs> is gonna happen did these dudes not do their homework aren't they literally headhunting accelerator because he is a bounty right there's basically a target on him because like if he beat accelerator oh my god he's the strongest but don't these dudes do homework they don't fucking know about his power that you've seen him what happened where does he live it'd be so funny if he like is a uh, living in the same building as us i'm a girl what the fuck that's a familiar voice what did he do there? That was Index, right? Yeah, that's literally he. That's where we live. Index and Tomer are fucking arguing right now. That's literally last episode. So he overheard all of that shit. And what did he do here, though? He reflected the noise. Because noise sound waves, right? You can just fucking reflect the sound waves. Someone's chasing him. Someone's chasing him. Little Misaka. This should be the little Misaka. Now, I was confused that during Angel Fall. I thought that Misaka that we saw was supposed to be the lolly Misaka, but no, 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 that was the same body type. This should be the one. Why is she chasing him? Who is she? Why does she look like Misaka? Is she one of the Radio Band sister projects? But she's so tiny. She's... <laughs> please help me, sir, please. Can't hear you, bro. All sound is reflected right now. That's actually hilarious that, like, this has noise canceling properties, right? But Accelerator, 
he, he, he literally in noise canceling mode right now. He's like, I don't want to hear anything. Shut the fuck up. Nope. Ignored. Ignored. I don't know. What is she saying? All right. Noise on. <laughs> no. That's what Misaka Misaka says. This one says that's what Misaka Misaka says. So her speech pattern is the same as the clones, but her body is way smaller and she doubles up in the Misaka. Double Misaka again. Yes, we deny your existence. Misaka Misaka. She's straight up just naked down there, isn't she? She is. She's very cute. Don't take off that blanket. Just, just remove the hood carefully. It is Misaka though. Bro, put it back on her. What did you do, you monster? This is SA. This is harassment. She's still following. But there's only 20,000 in total. Yet, 20,001. Hmm. Interesting. And another interesting thing is how she obviously doubles on Misaka. And yes, the personality aspect. The other clones speak in a very robotic, monotonous way. She is basically a human. The last order. The final lot. That's a today's title drop. Last order. Based on the opening and the ending reactions, just the visuals, I thought this Lolly Misaka was some sort of like scientist because she had these like lab coats on. And maybe I thought that she was the one responsible for creating all the different Misakas, but no. It's just simply the last order. The final Misaka clone. Early. He thought lolly because like the incubator wasn't complete. <laughs> they just ejected early on. Okay. Yeah, honestly, this literally is like accelerator's index. Index, you know, Toma has index, right? <laughs> Accelerator has Misaka Misaka now. Why are you happy about that? Oh, can she crash with the dude? She's homeless. Come on, take care of her. Accelerator live. Yeah, which one, bro? Where do you live? There it is. Door's already open? You monster. I'm like, what if the door fucking opened? It should be locked right now. It's the wrong fucking door, you troll. Yeah. It's just a little joke. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Don't fall for it again. She's so... She just listens. She just accepts everything as true. <laughs> Bruh. I fear that Accelerator and Misaka Misaka is better than Toma and Index. Oh shit, this door got fucked up. I guess they found out where he lived. And they destroyed his place. And they vandalized this shit. Well, that's crazy that like everyone is after Accelerator like this. Like, you would think that people would be so scared of number one that they would never dare fuck around, right? But like everyone just like Walks all over Accelerator. They're always just trying to get at him. His room got all fucked up. <sighs> Terrible. Anti-skill judgment. Anti-skill and judgment. Contact. I've never heard of anti-skill or judgment. But that sounds like pretty important organizations. Are they like cops or some shit? Law enforcement? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe actually, because this is targeted. <laughs> He's grown fond of you. Misaka Misaka is lonely. Alright, she can chill here. <laughs> she gets his. <laughs> Do you think that he chose the couch on purpose to give Misaka Misaka the bed? 
I don't know. That's my head cannon that he actually does carry the softy inside. Why'd you change your accent there? Oh, you can cook? I don't think we got ingredients, though. I just realized we just slept with the door fucking open the entire time because there's, you know, they busted that shit open. <laughs> oh, apron wearing accelerator? Domestic looking accelerator. He wants to domesticate him. Accelerator will become like a house husband. <laughs> Julian Cafe. Do you dye your hair like me? UV rays. Okay, well, white, right? It's supposed to, like, dark. The darker, like, you know, the color is, the more light UV rays gets accepted in. You know, white completely reflects it. Okay. Everything just gets reflected. What's she gonna order? Do we have money to pay for this shit? He looks pretty important. Got you. I don't know who Amaya is, but probably part of the uh, experiments or something important. He got a fancy -ass sports car, man. Got I guess the researchers, they pay him well. Get him, Sass. Get after him. We're about to ditch you here. What is it? <laughs> Get serious, girl. Accelerator, he's getting away. We gotta chase after him. Oh, she got steak. First time? Oh, he stuck around. He literally stuck. I thought that he'd run after, you know, that owl guy, whatever, the researcher dude. Nah. He said, what's your fucking objective right now? Uh, to eat. And he's like, shit, she is hungry. All right, I'll stick around. Is that a signature line? This is bullcrap. This is bullshit. Thomas says, just my luck, right? And Accelerator says, this is just bullshit. I hear him saying this multiple times now. Okay. Aww. First hot meal ever. Great. <laughs> it's not fresh food. <laughs> just fucking pre-packaged frozen shit. They're just fucking nuking it in the microwave. Aww. He just happened to be eating with somebody else, man. Misaka Misaka is so cute. Thank you, Phantom, for that tier one, man. Appreciate that. Oh, does she remember not editing? So she is linked to the hive minds. But. Hmm? They're all unique. Yeah, Toma. Hmm. That I'm even a thing. Because your existence, even though we exist for you to farm us, we would have never been created if it was not for you. Therefore, I'm grateful? You're such a meanie! Wait. <gasps> Accelerator himself is also a victim! Mm -hmm. There might be more. Hmm. 
I thought that he was kind of like jeering on the clones and kind of like, you know, taunting them, right? The first time we ever saw Accelerator was him hunting down a Misaka clone and kind of asking her, like, do you even know, like, who I am or what this even is? Like, you know, do you know, like, like he, he, I thought he was taunting, but at the end of the day, he wanted to get to know them? This is, like, coming from, like, a place of empathy? So, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot about that line. Oh no! God damn, girl. Good googly moogly. What you wearing tonight, huh? Shaking that left cheek, right cheek, left, right, left, right. You invited me? Are you really kidding? Accelerator, please! <laughs> hmm. He just seems evil to me. Yeah. They are odd, I guess. Desire to make the fact that you even talk to them, even though he's saying mean things. Is this so? If, can we apply this concept of making contact? There's a reason too. Let's say here's a weird example, but you know how when like. When little kids, dumbass children, or high school kids, right? They have like a crush on somebody else. Sometimes the guy will be like mean to the girl or vice versa, right? It's like they like them, but they act all weird and kind of like be mean. But at the end of the day, deep inside, there's something else going on. But the things that they're saying, even though it doesn't match their behavior, at the end of the day, deep inside, there's like a desire to make that contact. You would have just farmed them in silence. Yeah, you would have just farmed them. Hmm. Yeah, they were very mean and hostile. I thought he just a sadist. Mm -hmm. No, I think my example is still correct. At the end of the day, what is the exact, what is the, you know, the logic here? He's saying really mean things, but the things that he's saying has a separate action intended. Deep inside, he wanted to confront those Misaka clones and make them like give up? back out of the plan, if they're convinced, you know, that if they're sick of fighting, then I guess they would've just stopped. Is that, is that the logic? Yeah. What if? Then it would've been stopped. Then he would've stopped the project. Huh. That is a ridiculous amount of generous, charitable mental gymnastics to justify all the sadistic shit Accelerator it was doing was actually for the Misaka clones. The amount that this lolly is doing, like, dude, she is jumping through hurdles and hoops and doing a 360 spin blindfolded onto a tight rope. Like, bro, this is fucking crazy. But I think it does make sense. And deep inside, maybe Accelerator is just a softie. That's not a no. Why would he just walk away like that? I think that uh, Misaka Misaka right now pierced his soul there and he's right in the dot and he's thinking to himself like deep inside like, oh shit, maybe that was what I wanted. Mm. Oh, no! What happened to my little Misaka? Oh no! Incomplete. Because she got out, you know, too early. Are you hurt? How can we fix you? Hey? She looks sick. Nah, bro. It's this fucking food. It's this fucking microwave TV dinner bullshit they're feeding this Misaka clone, bro. Fuck Julian's restaurant. This place a fucking fraud. She was completely fine until she ate this shit. Mm -mm. Mm, something else is going on here. <laughs> she got food poisoning. She barely had any bite. Bro, she she had like one tiny bite of the meat and like one portion of the rice. Everything else is like untouched. Did he take the bill? Is he gonna pay for it? <laughs> Imagine he just left her with the fucking bill and left. Are we leaving?
first comment. Now, this is not a first comment, is it? It is a first comment. And the best part is that your profile picture is Ghetto. Suguru Ghetto. One whose ideals that aligns with mine in terms of most people being monkeys. So why do you think that the YouTube stream is looking at the ceiling? What does the title and the chat say? Why do you think that there'll be a separate stream entirely to kind of suggest that there's something happening? Can you make the connections? I mean, the title already says it, right? The chat also says it. But can you use your monkey brain and make the connections? Just maybe, maybe I'm streaming with my phone on YouTube because I can't stream anime there to port the YouTube audience to Twitch. You think that could be the case? I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe. Is he just gonna leave the Misaka Misaka clone back at the restaurant? The fuck? He just left there. <laughs> okay, we got, we're, we're at some kind of research plan. Because you wanna save her. The answers to saving little Misaka is in this research development place. Maybe that guy that ran away in this car, right? Drove away in his car has the answers for us. The messy ass room. Okay. Who is this? Ara. <laughs> yeah, Accelerator really did get fucking fired, bro. This is like severance pay. Your ID in place shit, it'll still work for three months. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but after that, it's you're fucking locked out. Man, this room is so messy, man. <laughs> so, help with what? Yoshikawa. Oh, trying to save Misaka. Lucky timing. Virus. What's happened to little Misaka? She's got a virus right now. Special unit. The end. Last order. Oh, we were just with her. Accelerator, come on. That one's special? Don't, don't do this to me, Accelerator. You're smarter than this. Don't fucking say that. No way, I thought it was average. I thought it was just any normal one. Yeah. Buy 20,000, get one free. Twenty thousand one. Exactly. Control tower. She has absolute control over like the hive mind of the Misaka network. Okay. And of the ten thousand that was still left. Many of them have gone outside the city, right? I, only 10 of them, I think, exist in Academy City right now, right? So 10 Misaka clones plus, you know, our little lolly. Overrode. The fuck? Uh, at this point, who could have overwrote the code? The only person I can really guess is the guy that, you know, fucking drove away in his, you know, yellow Bugatti. Other than that, I have no clue of, you know, other scientific people here doing the research. Oh no! No! Bad things. <laughs> what? <laughs> we made indiscriminate attack on humanity? So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So like, there's like a defect, but the virus is an intentional thing you know, um, done by the dude that like coded that shit seven days ago and his intention was to use the remaining Misaka clones to attack humanity just for shits and giggles? Is that what's going on? The fuck? Mentioned again. The that guy, that guy. Mm. Better go find him. Yeah, we, how convenient. You know what the most unrealistic thing is about finding that Aoi guy at the restaurant in the parking lot? 
It's not that he just happened to coincidentally show up just when we needed to know about him the most in today's episode, right? What an opportune moment where just that one person could have just been introduced us like that. That's not the unrealistic part. The unrealistic part is the fact that that motherfucker came to a shitty ass restaurant known as Julian's where they serve TV microwave fucking dinner. He got a fucking yellow Corvette? Ain't no way he eats there? That's a fucking scam! Yeah, maybe he was keeping tabs on her. Could be the case. Save her! Dude, Accelerator truly is the main character. It's truly... Fuck Toma. Fuck Index. It's Misaka Misaka and Accelerator now, dude. This pair is great. Mm. Yeah. So what now? The scientists are some fucking nice people? Like, so, so far, like, oh no, they created this bullshit fucking project, you know, this poor people with the scientists. Like, no, if there was a different way out, then I would have made it, you know, we could have saved all the sisters. Okay. Mm. That's the straightforward answer. And then what? We just left her at the restaurant. <laughs> she just had this shit fucking ready. <laughs> she just had this shit fucking ready. Here it is. Everything you fucking needed mm -hmm. right over here. Someone as unorganized as her just had all this shit fucking ready to go. It's not that she knew the accelerator was coming. Alright. Nah. He doesn't destroy. He doesn't prioritize destroying than protecting. He destroys because he protects. Are they gonna do some bullshit ideology stuff like that? You know how like, you know, self-defense, attacking, you're, you're, it's not like you're, you're trying to save somebody by destroying, if you know what I'm meaning. Both. Oh, he took the other one. This option was incubator state, right? The other one was to kind of like tell the secrets of the owl guy and, you know, find him and destroy him. Could he not have taken both? I wonder if Misaka Misaka will still be at the restaurant when we conveniently left her, you know, after paying the bill. But that is today's episode. Today's episode has shifted the focus of the story from the main character being Toma to Accelerator and I'm all for it. It's not that I don't like Toma. I love Toma. I think he's a great main character. But Accelerator also is such a fascinating character and to see some of the more day-to-day -day lives things he does is pretty fun. He likes black coffee from the convenience store. He has an uh, auto noise cancelling mute mode, which is funny. And in terms of other people still trying to fuck with them, I guess it kind of does make sense because he doesn't just go around killing them either, right? These thugs show up and they try to get him because of his bounty, you know, because of the clout you would get if you beat a level 5. But on top of that, I guess news has spread that a level 0 has beaten a level 5. So they're thinking, oh shit, it's our time, we can get him too. It's sad that Accelerator lives in such a shitty ass around that apartment because a lot of people found where he lived and just like vandalized it. But hey, we have our little version of Index as well. This is Little Misaka Misaka 20,001. The version that was supposed to never be that, you know, a thing, but she was secretly like the control tower of the Misaka networks. She is very important. She came out of the incubation thing um, too preemptively, right? Too, too fast. And not only that, there's also the virus happening because someone changed the code seven days ago. Maybe the owl guy definitely knows more about it. And we got to know that Accelerator is definitely like a softy deep inside, right? Because how she was in the mental gymnastics and what would even like compel you to make contact or conversation if you were so evil, you would simply just, you know, just farm them in silence. But the fact that you try to reach out hints at something else. Right now, we're going back to the restaurant, I guess, right? To get our little Misaka Misaka back into the incubation. But there's no way she's going to be there right now. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.